Wow, what a difference a few days makes. Bit of sunshine, bit of rain, everything's greening up. Welcome back to another video, folks. I'm gonna show you a few aerial videos so you can get a sense of how the landscape is coming back to life and greening up here. And then we'll have a look around the farm where things are at right now. It's always amazed me how easily the human eye picks out a wild animal, like a deer or an elk or something. I just arrived down here and the instant I walked onto the beach, right on the headland out here, which has got to be a kilometre away, I mean that's pretty far, instantly I could see a deer stood up amongst the trees, not on the skyline. But there's something about the human eye, either from being hunted or being the hunter, where we're just able to pick out animals in the landscape from incredibly far away. And I don't know what it is about the resolution or the, it's, you know, sometimes you can get confused looking at a tree stump and thinking that's an animal, but there's something glaringly obvious when it is an animal. Something about the connection it makes with you, with a larger animal like a deer or an elk, when it looks back at you. Beautiful misty day today, it's a bit like autumn. <coughs> Big day today, Marta the Mighty is going for her one bad day. Got to get it in the horse box. So we've had the box parked up here just so that they get a little bit used to it. Bit of grain, bit of silage, just no, tempting. It's a big cow. We've been having a running bet. Guess the weight of the cow. I said 450. Dave went in with 650. So quite a beer on either side of 550. We'll see what the slaughter man thinks. Okay, made it to Karlstad, all going well. Hey girl, hey, good girl. She's comfy enough, isn't she? We're going to stop him for a coffee. Artisan Bread, one of our favourites. Organic bakery here. And then we got about 50 minutes drive. So, we made it. Mission successful. Got to go and find Adam. So, we haven't been here in a little while because Adam was too busy last time we needed slaughter. 
Hey, you go. You've been so good. You've been so good. Can you hear these cows? Put the doors close to the, you know, half close the door, oh. so then they don't see any yeah. light. It's, it's, uh, it's better for the camera, you know. Yeah. If they don't see the way, they don't go the way. Yeah. Uh, so she can just. Good girl. So just to, uh, to keep the door there, so she, she doesn't push it out open. Uh, all right, well, enjoy it. Okay, right, ready? Yeah. Okay, she's free. Come on, Wayne, go. Reverse gear. There you go. Hey. You okay? Are you okay, Lem? Just forward. Adam, we've got to ask you, we've had this ongoing bet. Okay. We've, we've had an ongoing bet. We, yeah, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> nah, Dave. What would you guess, like, full as living weight? Living weight. I guess, like... Maybe 500... Uh, something I guess I guess the, the slaughter weight I, I'm just guessing like two 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 forty two fifty 250 some, somewhere somewhere there maybe maybe some more she's not uh, she's not skinny <laughs> no <laughs> if I say so <laughs> so somewhere like that I don't think I don't think 600 is 600 is too much but I think 500 or maybe a little more maybe 550 you reckon less than 550 she, it's hard to say because she's she's a. Uh, you you got to say higher yeah. or lower than five fifty. I don't think five fifty. I don't think. Oh, Davy yeah, boy! We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. I don't, I don't want to. Better up tonight. <laughs> 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 All right. If it's if but, but, it's but, but, over five fifty, Dave wins a crate of beer. If it's <laughs> under five fifty, yours truly gets a crate of beer. <laughs> Oh, dang, I lost the bet. So we got a call from Adam, who did the kill and gut of the cow, Marta, this morning. And hanging weight's about 320 or something like that. So live weight must be around 600 or so. I owe David Crate a beer. I'm not doing very well on my bets this year. Some wild ducks frequenting the pond. There's a mallard. Or a mallard couple. A lot of water flow this time. And a lot of frogs born. So it's the birches that first come in to leaf here, along with willow. And berry bushes are coming in to leaf as well. It's actually very warm today, isn't it, Saku? Yeah, it's humid as well. But we've had a good few days of heavy rains. Now we're gonna see grass growth. Moving stuff from A to B. Today, wash pack stations getting put together. Good clean down. And this year we're making bubblers. So we've got a jacuzzi pump and we've just got to get some drains put in these tubs. And then we'll have a simple hose that you can put on either so that they can be used as dunk tanks or as bubblers and that's going to be awesome cleaned out the chiller it's been full of teepees and things like that nice and clean 
So things are looking raucous in here. I'm gonna do a market garden video soon. Looking at how the beds are, now we're self-sufficient with compost from the farm. Just have a look at what no dig beds look like in the spring. More and more crops going out, but it's still very early for us. Tomatoes potted on. Rhubarb coming up. So it's been a few very wet days, big thunderstorms, but now it's sitting up at 18, 19 degrees. First dandelions out on the paddy ponds. We just sheep mulched these earlier and they're gonna get planted up with rice. Things are going well in the 20 meter caterpillar tunnel. We've got the garlics, early spinach, and it's looking good in here. We've already been eating and cutting Asian greens. Haven't had so much flea beetle yet because it's been too early, too cold for them. So that's nice for us because things like this giant red would often just be totally decimated by flea beetles. Another Rico today, second week of the year. So we just heard from your books, Verkut, it's going to be two weeks at least until birds can come out due to the bird flu here. And so it means this batch will stay in the tunnel until that time. It's definitely getting warmer now, but it's not super hot, but it's definitely humid. Today is stuffy and feels really summery. But looking at the weather forecast, I think they're going to be comfy enough. The bigger problem for us now is the hens, because if they don't come out in two weeks, I think it's just going to be disastrous in there. It's going to be way too hot and really uncomfortable. It's going to become a welfare issue. We will apply for welfare exemption, but they said today on the phone they're not going to be offering any exemptions. So that's what we do. We have to wait another couple of weeks and that's the way it's going to be. But by that time, the pasture will be growing really nicely and we'll be straight up into Nutfield with the eggmobiles. So sheep have been happy out on the pasture. It's going to be Monday, we're thinking, to take the cows out on the grazing plant. I'm actually going away with Ragnar to Kletter on the west coast. We've been making fire by gates and Ragnar's been doing screwdrivering and drilling holes, etc. He's really excited about carpentry and learning new tools. But we were looking to buy a couple of gates to finish off the fencing job that you saw in a video previously, but they're sold out till June, July time. And so we thought, well, we'll use some of the scrap timbers and we just made a couple of gates. So a bit heavy, but we tested them on hinges on the wall and they seem fine. So that saved us a few bob as well. So still a lot of row covers on. We've got some really nice crops coming up now. Black joys. Lots of beautiful kale in the background. Still hardening off in the tunnel due to lack of space. That's the way it goes. So for Europeans, we are still selling Caterpillar Tunnels. They are being shipped out from the UK directly by Jake Eldridge over at Oxens Organics. I've partnered up with him and it's way easier with all the Brexit mess, etc. But that's on caterpillartunnels.co if you want to get one of these Caterpillar Tunnels that we designed a few years ago. I'm even feeling sweaty for the first time this year. That's it for this video, folks. I'm signing out. Hope you found that interesting in some way. Nice to see the aerial footage and seeing a bit of green back in the landscape and really noticing the difference that our grass comes back in a lot quicker than the neighbours. I'm going to take Ragnar away for a few days, take some rest, take some time out. I will be back next week and we will see the cows coming out as well as some no-dig market gardening videos, etc. Have a great rest of the week and great weekend. And as always, you can find out a whole bunch more in the links below in our books and online trainings, etc. See you in a video soon, folks.